Hello guys and um, hello guys and welcome to our tutorial. In today's lesson, we're going to learn about um, displace, displacement mapping and uh, bump mapping. What these are, they're pretty much ways to add bumps or roughness or uh, roughness to your ge uh, to your geometry. And um, these uh, you can do it, you can do them in one of the two ways. Okay. So in our first uh, example, I'm going to show you what bump mapping is. And we start with just a surface, uh, a sphere. Press 5 to shade it. We've got that sphere, and as usual, the way we do it to add um, to add uh, something, we just go uh, rendering, blend material. <clears throat> then you can add uh, at the bottom on our common material attributes. You've got the bump mapping option. Okay, just um, click on that little box, and you end up having all these options. And the most common ones are uh, fractal and noise. All right, these are the most used um, um, mapping options. So let's click on that fractal. As you can see, it's been applied. So you, at the moment, you can't see anything. But if you render it, if you go ahead and render it, you'll see the roughness that's been applied to that actual geometry. And um, this roughness can also be uh, dropped down by going into your bump depth okay at the moment is it's on one but you can go to uh, as low as you want as long as a uh, minus five but i like to keep it in the positive so let's go mi most the the minimum positive i can go well 69 is uh 069 is pretty good and just um render it now um the texture has been uh, the the roughness has been added to to um this geometry, but this is pretty much a rendering trick. Okay, it's pretty uh, pretty much distorting or yes, yeah, pretty much uh, distorting the um, the pixels. So um, yeah, that's a display. Uh, that's a um, bat mapping for you. It's pretty much just distorting the pixels to make uh, to make it come out like it's been um it's like like it's rough. Let me show you um. Yeah, to make it look like it's rough. Okay, as you can see, lo this looks like uh, something, like, let's say an orange. Okay, this is what it looks, if you ask me. So, um, and, and again, if we want, we can just add some color to it. We can add some color to it to make it uh, really orangey. Yeah. Um, just uh, render it. There you go. You've got that orangey color. All right. And uh, the more uh, the more extreme uh, example that you would actually make uh, that would actually make sense uh, uh, would be um, let's go uh, let's um, let's go and add different uh, add a different material okay let's go ahead and add something like cloth so you we add cloth to that um, to that material just render it yeah there you go it's um, been rendered and uh, let's bring it a little closer that way we can uh, actually see the pixels if we look at the pixels uh, if we look at this cloth uh, geometry this um yeah this uh, uh bump map is uh, actually been painted on pretty much been painted on as you can see if you look at the edges it's still smooth it's still round it doesn't have that edgy bumpy look on around the edges so that's a, um, a clear um, clear view that no 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 this is actually been painted on okay yeah so um let me show you what I what I let me show you the uh, difference uh, between um back mapping and displacement side by side so um th uh, that's a uh, back mapping for you guys so if we if I uh, just duplicate this one if I duplicate this one, if I duplicate this one and add um, bump mapping uh, uh, and add uh, displacement mapping to this uh, actual object, let me show you. So we've got that. What we actually use is bump mapping. Now we're going to add uh, di uh, displacement. Okay, just go down. You have a uh, 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 shading group attributes okay we've got these we've got a displacement material that we're going to add on there so let me just go through um, what these three options are number one um, is the surface material which actually renders the surface itself 
this one. The surface material shows you what it's going to render, which is pretty much the surface itself, if that makes sense, guys. And uh, volume, uh, volume material is pretty much uh, the volume for creating volumetric effect, pretty much, you know? As simple as that. Displacement material, which is the third one, um, this is a physical displacement of um, this is going to be the physical displacement of the geometry all right now um let's add a uh, texture to this one which is pretty pretty much uh because I want to want you guys to see side by side so we're gonna add cloth okay we're gonna add cloth and just render it there you go you can see that it's so it's 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 uh, more rough let me just uh, bring it closer to the camera render it again as you can see um, it's more bumpy look at that it's more bumpy as compared to this one this one this one is pretty much smooth okay this one is more bumpy you can actually see that no, no, no this is actually um, a displacement as compared to the bat mapped okay as co compared to the bat mapping but um, uh, one thing I need to point out guys this uh, displacement mapping takes uh, longer to to render and uh, sometimes it wouldn't be practical to um, to use it on um, all occasions that would need uh, dis that, that would need a rough area because um, let, let's give a typical example of an animation where you've got a character walking on um you've got a character walking on um like a um a verb whatever walking somewhere okay if you actually add um, the displacement mapping to the ground to make the, the roughness of the ground, the character's foot may actually sink in it may make it look all jaggy and unprofessional. So the best um, method to go for that one would be um, uh, bat mapping as compared to, um, uh, as, as opposed to displacement. So that's one thing you need to uh, bear in mind. Just practice more, you know, you, you, you will be able to tell where to use it and where not to use it. Yeah, that's my little... Um, that's my little point that I had to um, mention out. So um, on top of what what what's already happened here, you, you've got the ability to um, you've got the ability to actually control the displacement by by going into your into our object. So if we um, actually close this one, um, if we close this one, make sure I've got that one selected. You've got. Um, You've got the option to actually um, change our um, to change our displacement map. So let's say uh, we take it to let's say two uh, three. Okay, that's my lucky number. Three. Look at how that one distorts. Okay, look at how that one distorts. So if we actually ramp it up to maybe let's say twelve or fourteen, it doesn't matter. If we ramp it up to 14, you will see the difference. See that? See the difference? So yeah, you've got the, you've got. I just want to point it out that I just want to point out that you've got that option. So if I want, I can uh, increase the sample rate to 12, 14, 6, whatever I want for that final mesh um, secret to to yeah uh, to that final mesh. But the secret, the the secret to the to to this is to uh, the secret to um. The fineness of the mesh, the the the, um, the displacement is to pretty much. I, li I just like to keep it as low and satisfying as possible. Like I said in my earlier uh, tutorials, I go for one rule. If it if it looks good, it is good. I try to keep it as low enough to look good, and I'll be happy with it because it'll be faster to render. So yeah, that's my um tutorial of the day, and uh, yep. Uh, that's pretty much all you need to know. Just uh, go through all these other options and, and just play with them. Add texture, this, that. Play with it. And uh, guys, please, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I've got um, I make videos uh, um, as often as I can. And uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much, guys, for your support. And I've got like what, 53 subscribe, 73 or something. Yeah, thank you very much, and uh, yeah, hope you've enjoyed uh, my tutorial so far. And uh, please take your time to comment if you if you need me to um to improve on anything. I know my accent is a bit weird, but if you've uh, if you need me to be more clear on some stuff, please let me know. And if you need me to um to improve on anything, yeah, 
um yeah just let me know and yeah comment and uh thumbs up if you like the video and yeah talk to you soon and i hope you enjoyed the video thanks